Hey, peace, peace. It's been a minute. It's good to see you. Well, it's, it's good to be seen by you. Um, I hope you're well as you listen to this. I'm coming in to, to share with you about, you know, an upcoming event. That's what I usually come to kind of talk about. Our annual Maroon Teen celebration is just around the corner, June 17, 2022. We have a few things. We've got um, a campaign for you to give and share of your bounty, of your resources to help us do the work. So we hope that you do that. And then we also have an event that if you decide you didn't want to just, you know, give money, but you want to give money and have a good time, well, come out to our Maroon Teen celebration on the 17th. And if you don't remember from last year and you do want to come out, I'll let you know. So Maroon Teen is just a celebration of Juneteenth, which is June 19th every year, a celebration of freedom for African peoples who were once enslaved. And for us, Maroon Teeth is an event, a celebration, a campaign that allows us to also lift up freedom through black hands that happened as a result of struggle, rebellion, revolt. We want to celebrate both. We want to celebrate the national independence of African peoples, but we also know that we want to lift up and share about the path and struggle that happened in ways that may not be always celebrated. Freedom comes in different ways, different packages, different approaches. Freedom doesn't just look like passing legislation and having people be on paper unenslaved. But the process of slave making is one that was done by people who were interested in psychologically and physically having people submit to a subservient position. The process of maroonage, which is the first part of maroon routine, is about undoing those chains and going through a process of becoming free and creating a community. We talk about liberation from both the margins and the masses. So that's our theme for this year for Maroon Team. When we talk about from the margins, we talk about liberation that happens in, in an insular fashion, a more private fashion, maybe intentional communities, building freedom farms, and coming up with projects that allow us to build on farms and land in cities and rural areas. But when we talk about liberation in the masses, we talk about mass movement, demonstrations that people can see that's social media, in the media, and that's happened over time. This year and for the rest of our time, what we'd like to do at Black Youth Institute is celebrate all the ways that people fight for the freedom of African peoples as we continue in that fight. And in doing so, I'm really excited to share that we are putting out a literary piece, a book, entitled Boots, which represents Black-owned and operated territories and spaces. It's really a concept for us to be able to try our best to lift up what liberationists have done in the margins and in the masses and to be hopefully inspired by them and help aspire how we maintain that work and stand on the shoulders of the ancestors and the historic institutions that have done that work. So we put that book out. We want to have a celebration, come together with food, with a little bit of teaching, with what we call internally a bus tour with music, learning about uh, freedom struggles, and just having a good time. So we hope that you come out, but we hope that you will remember that Black Youth Institute, while last year, uh, when we celebrated six years, we talked about the transition and moving from land and being dispossessed of land. Now, as we celebrate the margins and the masses, we're clear with you that we're in a rebuilding phase. We're building and we're continuing our work both in the masses and in the margins. So come and celebrate with us. Celebrate the marginals and the masses at Maroon Tea, June 17th, 2022. And look, until then and after then, keep the fight.